A mile start to our Sunday morning around southern Colorado. Temperatures as we look at what's happening at Powers and Woodman are already sitting in the middle to upper 40s. The average high for today in the springs is 43 degrees. And yet at 6 o'clock, here we are at 47 at Powers and Woodman with the ABBA Eye Care Company camera. Winds out of the north northwest at about 5 miles per hour. Big part of the reason why winds coming out of the mountains and, of course, warming up as they make their way down into the city. Eads, a beautiful sunrise setting up for us. 29 degrees of current temperature. Winds out of the west southwest at 9 miles per hour. Here's a look back towards Kansas from eastern Colorado. 58 is where we're going to top out in the springs. 63 in Pueblo, 57 in Canyon City. Temperatures all along the front range will be sitting in the 50s and 60s. It'll be lower to middle 60s in the plains, upper 50s and lower 60s along I 70. Up towards Denver and the mountain locations will be sitting in the upper 20s, lower to middle 30s. There will be even be some 40s around. 44 year high. Today in Salada, 38 in Alamosa, 36 at Leadville. Zooming it out now to the state view to give you an idea what temperatures look like around Colorado. 36 the current reading in Fort Collins, 41 at Denver, 50 in the Springs, 41 at Pueblo. You thought that temperature at Union Powers and Woodman and Union and Montebello that we showed you earlier was wrong? Not necessarily the case. The airport is checking in with 50 degrees as well. As you get away from the mountains, it does get somewhat cooler. Upper 20s and lower 30s in the eastern part of the state. Temperatures in the mountains are sitting in the teens and 20s. There are some sub zero readings. That's the case in Gunnison, which is below zero. Alamosa also below zero at two below at this hour. Sky scan satellite and radar. Not much to look at in the way of any kind of snow, at least not as of yet. A little bit of snow to the north of I 70, up into the northwestern part of the state to the northeast of Grand Junction. That's about it, but there will be more snow, I think, as we go through the afternoon into the evening along I 70, and also possibly along Highway 24, as we talked about before, the break between Leadville and Minturn, where it meets I 70. That's a Possibility, which will also slow us down a bit as we head home from our weekend ski plans. We're also going to be some snow as we go through much of our Sunday afternoon into our Sunday evening. That'll be the case on Monday also. If you're heading to the west of Denver towards Idaho Springs and eventually towards the Continental Divide and Grand Junction, watch out for some snow to cross the big highway as we go through our Monday morning into our Monday afternoon. Outside of this, I think we're going to stay rain and snow free, at least in southeastern Colorado, all the way through our Monday. All the snow is going to be confined to areas north of. I 70. There will be some wind though. This will be our main travel concern for us as we go through this afternoon. Winds will gust as high as 40 and 45 and 50 miles per hour times. Watch out in the high mountain passes this morning. That gives way to more widespread wind as we go through the rest of the afternoon. This will be our main travel concern for us as we go through our Monday as well. Back to work and school for some people, though many people have a day off because of the Martin Luther King holiday. Seven day forecast calls for high temperatures to drop back just a shade on Monday and then really drop off of the table, Greg, as we go through our Wednesday. Another system comes at the area from the northwest. It will give us a small chance for some snow, and it will also drop our temperatures down. I want to see them rebound by next Friday and Saturday. Back to the mid to upper 40s in the springs, back to the upper 40s and lower 50s in Pueblo. That's where we're going to be at as we go into next weekend after we drop off to right around 40 on Wednesday. Lower 60s take us through our Monday as well. Canyon City, temperatures mid to upper 50s on Sunday and Monday. Upper 30s then on Wednesday as we drop back by about 20 degrees, only to rebound later on. Teller County, the snow starts for you, at least a chance for it does late Tuesday evening into early Wednesday morning. Accumulations, not all that heavy, but enough to make the roads on the slick side as we go through our Wednesday morning commute as we head out to our work and school plans. Lows we wake up in the morning to lower to middle teens for the last portion of our extended forecast. And if it's going to get colder, it might as well snow a little bit. That's true. That's true. It is going to get colder. Not a lot of moisture for this front to work with. Not as much as it has been the previous couple of fronts, but again, enough to slicken things up just a bit. All right, something to keep track on as we uh, go through the week. Jay, thank you. Google 